Mtazamaji wa Rangida TV leo tumeamua kukuletea Diaspora University Project ambayo tunaifuatilia kwa karibu miaka zaidi ya mitano sita iliyopita na bila kupoteza wakati nataka nikueleze kidogo ni kwamba Diaspora University ni chuo kikuu ambacho kinajengwa na Wakenya ambao wanaishi Ulaya nchi za majuu kule wamejiunga na sasa hivi tunaambiwa kwamba wanaendelea kujenga chuo kikuu na wamekiita Diaspora University kwa sababu fads pesa za kununua materials na kila kitu wanatoa wao na wanajipanga wao ili kuweza kujenga chuo hicho katika eneo bunge la Mwatate. Chuo hicho kwa kifupi kiko kando ya barabara kuu ya, momba, ya, ya barabara kuu ya Voi kuelekea Mwatate na kama unaviona kibao chao hapa kama kinavyosema ni Diaspora University Town. Naomba nikuoneshe kabla hatujaingia ndani Diaspora University Town. Diaspora University Sound Town ili angalao uamini ya kwamba tunaingia hapo na punde si punde nitakuonesha tutaingia pale ndani tukuoneshe project kubwa ambayo inaendelea na ikiwezekana tutahoji mmoja wawili ili tuweze kuwa na ufahamu zaidi karibu na nakuomba kama uja subscribe uweze kusubscribe Uh, ili tuweze kusonga pamoja na unapo subscribe kumbuka kwamba unatupatia motisha ya kuweza kuendelea na nyuma yangu kama nilivyokuambia ni ubao wa chuo hiki cha Diaspora University Town na sasa hivi naingia kilomita kama moja hivi ndani ili uweze kuelewa mengi na nitaweza pia kuhoji watu kadhaa ambao wanahusika pakubwa katika e, chuo hiki ili watueleze ni nini kinaendelea ndani ya chuo cha Diaspora University na pengine kinaanza kusomewa lini na ni nini sasa hivi wanafanya ili kuona kwamba projekti hiyo kubwa ya humu nchini inaendelea nimekueleza kinajengwa katika eneo bunge la Mwatate e, karibu na mahali panaitwa Mto Mwagodi twende pamoja tuweze kuingia pale ndani Na sasa mimi ndio huyu tunasonga na mtu wangu wa ndugi tuweze ku, kufika pale ndani ya compound kubwa ambayo inajengewa Diaspora University. Na nikiwa pale pia nitajaribu kuongea na wahusika wakuu na nasikia pia kuna mikutano mingi mingi ambayo inaendelea pale kama workshops ili kuelezea watu mengi kuhusiana na Diaspora University au na ni chuo kinahusika na nini na nini. Twende tu, twende. na diaspora naposema diaspora na maanisha kwamba ni chuo kikuu ambacho kinajengwa na wakenya mbalimbali mbali ambao wanaishi huko majuu yani wanaishi kule Ulaya nchi za Ulaya kutoka Kenya walienda wakakaa kule na sasa hivi wame invest na wanaendelea kujenga chuo hicho ambacho kinajulikana kama diaspora university twende mpaka hapo kisha nitakuonyesha ndio sisi hao tunaingia kwa gate ya Diaspora University. Hii ndio gate ya Diaspora University Town kama nilivyokuahidi na tutaingia hapa ndani tuangalie ni nini kinaendelea. Ni project ya aina gani? Na pengine kama umekuwa ukisikia uweze pia kujijulia mawili matatu kuhusiana na project nzima ya Diaspora University. Karibu tuweze kwa namna pamoja. Namba nikiwa niko hapa ndani nimefanikiwa kupata watu wawili ambao wamekuwa kwa hii project kwa muda mrefu na ni wenyeji wa Ndara B community ambayo imetoa shamba ama ardhi ambayo inajengewa project hii na watanieleza kwa kifupi project ni kuhusu nini na ni kwa nini wanajitahidi kuweza kuitengeneza namna hii hawa wawili unaona ni mzee na mama hapa na ni viongozi katika eneo hili na watatueleza kwa kifupi Diaspora University ni nini na ni project na uhusiana na nini kama lilivyo kwa hili na najua utasoma mawili matatu kuhusiana na project hiyo anza na majina kisha unieleze kwanza kabisa mimi kwa majina naitwa Rafael Ngao 
mimi ni member wa Ndarabi community na tena mimi ni mwana committee wa Ndarabi community katika project ya Diaspora University Town mimi ni ndio sababu upande wa usalama security in charge wa, wa, wa project uh, naweza kusema kwamba project hii iko na mambo mengi iko na manufaa mengi maana yake itakuwa itajengwa hapa university katika university hiyo utapata katika katika taita taveta kuna county eh, i mean ward ward 20 katika hizi ward 20 kutakuwa na kila ward itatoa wanafunzi kumi kumi ambao watafundishwa free kama tu scholarship na itakuwa hapa ni engineering alafu tena tutakuwa na hospitali ya ki ya kimataifa ile ambayo hatakuwa tena mtu atakuwa mgonjwa hapa taita anapeleka labda Tanzania ama wapi itakuwa kila kitu ni hapa hapa tutakuwa na air strip kwa mtakuwa utalii utakuwa kwa wingi tutakuwa na nyumba za kisasa kama zile sasa hivi unaona vile serikali imekazia kuwa kuwe na standard nyumba standard kutoa mambo ya slums sababu unaona once university imejengwa atue hiyo zitatini mambo na slums inakuwa hiyo inaharibu ule ubora wa wa university so nafikiria ita ita benefit zaidi hasa hata italeta ama inchi kwa ujumla maana hata wanafunzi tutakuwa na wananchi kutoka nje ya America wapi wapi wote watakuja hapa kusomea hapa ambayo ni manufaa makubwa kwa community na kwa inchi pia kwa ujumla kwa county pia ile zile revenue wata, wata collect kwa hasa kupita kwa mambo na, na, na material material kama hizi na ule ujenzi kwa approve hizo hizo mijengo itakuwa ni ni uchumi utapanda juu. Asante yeah. sana Rafael Ngao kwa mengi kuhusiana na project ya Diaspora University University mtazamaji. Na naomba kuzungumza na mama mwingine hapa ambaye pia ni kiongozi katika eneo hili la hii project na atatuweza kwa kifupi kuhusiana na project hii na najua utasoma mawili matatu. Anza na majina kisha tueleze. Kwa majina yangu naitwa Asina Mkwachu ambaye ni vice chair wa Ndarabi community. Kama vile mnavyoona hapa mmeelezea na mwenzangu kuhusu manufaa ya diaspora pia hapa pia nimesimama pia ni mahali kutajengwa hiyo hiyo diaspora university na nimeona kuna matofali matofali haya pia yanatengenezwa hapa hapa ni rasimali amba, ni rasimali rasimali ambayo inapatikana hapa hapa ndani ya ndarabi ambao unaona matofali yametengenezwa mazuri ya kujengea kuna mchanga unapatikana hapa hapa kuna mchanga mwekundu kuna mchanga wa mtoni na unatengenezwa matofali mazuri ambayo yatajenga nyumba zetu hizi za diaspora university kwa hivyo mimi ningependa wala ambao wananiona kwa sasa msione kwamba ni lazima mtu aende mtoni ndo atachukue mchanga pale ama mchanga wa mashambani usiharibu mazingira katika hii ardhi yetu ya ndarabi pia kuna rasilimali ambayo tunatekeleza matofali mazuri ya kupendeza nafikiri kila mtu akiangalia anayaona ni matofali mengi ambayo hata ujenzi ukianza tutaweza kukamilisha na haya haya matofali kwa asante sana kuna watu wengi wamekuwa wakijiuliza diaspora university iko wapi kwa sababu wakisikia neno diaspora ni ni, ni, ni kigeni ni kumaanisha kigeni kwa nini ikaitwa diaspora university pengine kwa kifupi unaweza kutueleza diaspora university iliitwa kwa sababu hawa ni watu ambao wali wako nje walitafuta mradi kuja kufanya huku taita taveta kwa hivyo tusishtuke wakiona kwamba ni mradi wa nje maendeleo yanakuja kufanyika hapa kama kwingine kwa hivyo tusishtuke sana tukisikia diaspora university ni university itajengwa hapa hapa na itafaidi watu wa hapa hapa kama kwingine Nam asanteni sana viongozi ama uongozi wa Diaspora University japo si wote tumezungumza nao mtazamaji ni kwamba hii ni project ambayo inatazamiwa ku benefit ama kusaidia watu wengi haswa kikazi na mambo kama hayo na miundo misingi mingine na pia ameongea kuhusu matofali ambayo yanachimbwa na kutengenezwa hapa kwa maji ya moja kutafuta nafasi za kazi kwa vijana na kama unaviona ni mengi tu ambayo yamewekwa hapa tayari na vijana wanaendelea hapa kumaanisha takriban kulingana na kamati watu mia moja zaidi ya mia moja wanaendelea kufanya kazi hapa na hili ni jambo ambalo pengine kwa Kenya ya leo ni muhimu lakini ngoja pia tuongee na mwingine uh, kiongozi mwingine ili aweze kutueleza hapa hapa kwa nini Diaspora University inaitwa Diaspora University Town na tutaweza pia kufuatilia ni kwa nini mikutano imekuwa mingi katika eneo hili ili tuweze kuwa tukikufahamisha mengi zaidi uh, hello everyone uh, my name is uh... Uh, Dr. Almaz Johannes Mbathi and uh, I have come here to voi uh, to the first workshop regarding uh, DUT yeah. and uh, for me uh, I have come considering my background uh, is IT 
I was uh, previously in the, in the US for many years, mm -hmm. like almost 20 years. Yeah. So I'm trying to give back to society. Mm -hmm. So that's why I came back to the University of Nairobi uh, to give back in terms of my knowledge and uh, experience. So I'm there in the IT department and also teaching in the uh, department of computing and informatics. So a friend of mine introduced me to DUT mm -hmm. and I found that was a very good idea, yeah. uh, especially for people in diaspora to, to bring back all their skills that they have because we have a lot of brain dead, many people out there, they have all these skills and uh, we always want to come back home and invest back mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. So I found this was a very good idea. I was introduced by a friend of mine, Boy. Yeah. I think she talked very well in a video. Yeah. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So she introduced me to this project and I'm trying to introduce as many as possible who have all the necessary skills out there. So for me, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it, it uh, specifically targets uh, the medical field, yeah. which is a field we, we need to improve on in Kenya in terms of bringing our skills back home here to treat the people. Why should we be going to India? Why should we go to South Africa when we have Kenya? Yes. Why can't we build where people will come to Kenya yes. instead. Yes. So that is what I am I'm happy and proud about this project. It's a very big task, that is for sure, but it can be done. And it can be done if we all invest in this project. It is possible, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, Villa Mesema, Nimesoma uh, Ukom Wakanyingi in uh, technology. Yes. Yeah. So Nime Krudi Upper Kenya, Kuleta Yo. Be my vision, eh, yeah, yeah. ideas. Eh? Mm -hmm. So, this idea what we let and the group we let mm -hmm. happen in Zuri Sana. Now, your idea is a very good project. Yes. Your what was the end of India, South Africa, yeah. kuta, kuta uh, uh, Kazi, Kazi, uh, Daktari. Uh -huh. Apa, tukona, tukona iyo skills sisi yes, wote, yes. tukona iyo uwezo sisi yes, wote. Yes, yes, Kuja yes, apa yes. nyumbani, tu, tu, tusaidiane, mm -hmm. tupatiene kazi, tupatiene... Uh, um, anyway, Miu na musingi mingi? Hii, itaanza very soon. Yeah. Itaanza simbali, yes. ni pesa tu. Uh -huh. Watu waki invest, ilo invest in investment unaweka, yeah. utatusaidia kwanza even sooner. Yes. But kuna banks mm -hmm. and, and, and investments out there that mm -hmm. they are willing to invest. Yeah. So uh, in five years, this mm -hmm. thing should be done. Should be done. Yeah, eh? should be done. I'm looking at it like in five years. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not the team on simi mimi simu nyia kwa hapo kwa team mm -hmm. lakini ni kwa hapa to learn mm -hmm. kujua ni nini na ambio wengine mm -hmm. ni, ni, ni how far itaenda ndio yeah. waanze ku invest lakini hii project ni mzuri sana okay. itaenda mbali yes. na na tukifanya in a way paka hii hii kwa hospitali ya, ya global kila mtu wanatoka inchi ingine kuja hapa mm -hmm. tutakuwa tumefaulu ah. eh. so it is a diaspora kwa sababu gani maybe why oh diaspora kwa sababu it is called diaspora because yeah. is ni kwa sababu wale watu wana wa, wa, wa Kenya wetu wengi wanaenda huko nje kutafuta hii masomo unaona mm -hmm. sasa hii diaspora au wako nje ndio wana 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 in wanatuma hizi pesa ndio tusaidie ku, kujenga hii diaspora university yes yeah lakini si, si kusema ati wengine hata wa Kenya hawezi ku invest hata mm -hmm. wanaweza ku invest yes. lakini sana sana ni hao diaspora wamekuja na hizi ma, ma, mafikirio ya vile kufanya hii mm -hmm. hii university yeah. ndio iende iende mbali mm -hmm. eh uh, diaspora ni mtu yote si paka ikuwe american mm -hmm. uk hata yeah. tanzania yeah. uganda yeah. kila mtu ule anaka huko wana consider diaspora kwa, yes. wana, wanaweza ku invest mm -hmm. eh, kwa hii project na mzuri ya hii project kuna three three ab wanaweka bank yeah. DUT credit au ile wanaanza kupatia watu credit mm -hmm. si ndio mm -hmm. itawasaidia yeah. hata kama wana hiyo uwezo watasaidiwa kama unataka SME unaweza kufanya kama unataka kununua nyumba unachukua loan unaweza kununua hiyo hiyo nyumba kama unataka ku invest in their shares kuna shares ya hiyo 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 uwezo 
wanaleta kutoka huko ya vaccines yes. kuna experts mm -hmm. watakuja yeah. na hizo exper experience na kama tunaanza na 1 2 3 5 people mm -hmm. everybody will come with all those yes, knowledge yes, yes, and this yes. place will grow you are right so the potential ya kwenda mbali iko that's what i can see ah thank yeah. you so much almasi huyu ni daktari almasi mafi eh. amesema alizaliwa ukambani si ati nilizaliwa ukambani eh. mimi nilizaliwa meru ah, lakini nimeolewa ukambani eh, eh. Eh. na ametueleza mengi kuhusiana na diaspora university mm. na ni kwa nini wewe pia unaweza kuwa investor hapa eh. si lazima wewe unaishi ulaya eh. unaweza kuwa unaishi ulaya ya uganda tanzania mm. ama ulaya ya nchi zingine za afrika yes. si lazima za kimarekani kule mm. ama sehemu zingine za mbali yeah. kwa hivyo tumesema kwamba ukiwa investor mengi yatafanyika hapa na madhumuni makubwa ni kazi na kusaidia community yes kweli hiyo ni kweli asante sana asante okay.